Now this is a story all about how a punk turned the colony's lives upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just take a knee, I'll tell you how it became the fresh pres of a town called DC. In Western Virginia, born and raised, Monticello's where I spent most of my days chilling out, maxing, writing on cool, left liberty in the pursuit of happiness, fool. And a couple of friends who were up to no good started making sense in my neighborhood. I got into one little war and the king got scared and said, I'm sending out my soldiers so you better be prepared. I begged and pleaded with them all day. I wrote the grievances and sent them away. I decided to go to France and they bought me a ticket. I grabbed my violin and said, I might as well kick it. First class on the boat wasn't so bad. Drinking French wine out of a champagne glass. Is this what being a diplomat is like? Hmm, this might be I. When I came back, everything was new. The flag was all straight and the stars on the blue. If anything, I could say that this country was free. So I thought, let's do it. You'll burn if you see. Country was free, so I thought, let's do it, Burry. Yo to DC. Oh, I just made up my own lyrics. <laughs> Tell you how the press. Oh, <laughs> you have you have no sense of like no. rhythm. You have less rhythm than <laughs> I do, and I didn't know it's possible. Monticello is where I spent last. Is this what being a diplomat is like? Mm -hmm. This might be alright. <laughs> The flag all the stripes and has stars in the blue. If anything, this country was free. So I thought, let's do it, Bird. Yo, this. Flawless. Flawless. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I just didn't know. I don't think there's one good bird. <laughs> 